So the purpose of the of your trip, the, this time to Lithuania, it was not only uh, to present your movies in front of the audience, but also a theater. Can you tell us a little bit more about the project that you're... Uh it's a pleasure because that's my first experience on Lithuanian territory on stage. And my stage activity is parallel to my cinema activity. And I wrote a stage play that hasn't been produced yet. So it will be a world premiere. And it will be in Panivėžius, which is a city that once upon a time was famous for its theater. So that attracted me a lot because it sounds very prestigious. And uh, I proposed my play and we are now casting and we hope it will be it will open in uh, October. Um. Once you, not so long ago, a couple of years ago, you made, uh, you co-produced the film by Christianas Viljunas as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about your experience with co-producing with Lithuania and do you think uh, there is any perspectives in the future? Well, there is a perspective. I'm also considering my newest project, Ether, to be co-produced by Lithuania as a minoritarian co-producer. Because in Central Europe, I think we have to join forces. We have very hard situation trying to reach our audiences. So if we have co-production, we can reach them one by one. And the previous co-production we did, because it dealt with a problem that was absolutely understandable and interesting for Poe's story of KGB and the violence they were applying, especially exploiting family links and family sentiments. This was something about rang a bell, so it was something that was as true to our experience in society as it was true to the Soviet experience. So we liked it and I hope we will go forward showing things we have in common, not necessarily history, but just contemporaneity. Uh, Vilnius International Film Festival holds a very vibrant industry wench where we want uh, people from all places of the world to come and meet and to build up the network. Um, this is all about the co-productions and co collaboration between different countries. Can you tell us about the meaning of the co-productions in the contemporary cinema nowadays? Well, co-production is something particularly uh, specific to Europe because we are in the process of reunification of Europe. I say reunification because Europe was once united but it was a Roman Empire. Then there were several attempts or more or less abortive. Also, Rzeczpospolita that we created with Lithuanians and uh, Rutenos, it was an attempt to create a multinational state. And now United Europe is like a continuation of the same dream. So we have all reasons, even if we are so different one from another, that we have so good reasons to create something together and to have common market to show our films in various countries. Look how difficult it is today to have a Greek film in Finland or Portuguese film in Sweden. Even if we are in the same organism, we don't have the same market, we have, don't have the same publicity. Americans are dominating our cultural life and it's not healthy. We would like to have Americans and compete with them but have equal chances. And we don't have such big capital in Europe when we take separate countries. So only when we join forces, we can do something. And what do you think, what is the meaning of the network of the festivals in Europe? Oh, it is also very specific. No other continent has so many festivals. And it is increasing because many films are available only on festivals. There is no other chance for a film to be seen if not on festival. I think it is now growing together with a new network of uh, internet, of YouTube, and we will have some new reality that will give more chances for specific films to be shown by specific audience. Our problem is to how to meet each other, because there is an audience and there are films, but only festivals make a link, otherwise we don't know that film that they would like to see is, does really exist. It does exist, but I must find information and somebody has to recommend it to me. Festivals can do it. Um, please tell us about... Um, the, uh, you said that you just presented three movies in Panevejis. Um, 
um, which is, I think, uh, one of the first times when in Lithuania your your movies were represented uh, retrospectively, regardless the fact that a couple of years ago you presented your last feature film. Um, tell us a little bit more about the necessity to to speak about it. You mentioned when we were driving from Panevijis to here, you mentioned that there were films which were never screened here and which were, let's say, a little bit forgotten. Can you tell us a little bit um, more about which films you think that is necessary to remember from your oeuvre? Well, I would be happy to, to present films that in communist times I was allowed to shoot in the West but they were not distributed in our countries. So I made a film that won Silver uh, Lion in Venice and Tarkovsky was in the jury. And it was my film Imperative because it had religious overtones. It was not shown in communist countries. It was shown in Poland after the fall of communism. I made two years later in the 80s a paradigm with Vittorio Gassman, which is again one of my favorite films. I care for it it wasn't shown very widely. So there are a couple of films I would like to recommend because it's also my interest to see Lithuanian audience being acquainted to my films. Can we expect you next year in the Vilnius Film Festival of presenting these films? Well, I would say yes, provided that I am in good health, that nothing terrible happens, that no new hybrid appears in Europe because we are living now under great stress because the war is going on in the neighbor of Ukraine and you never know what is going to happen soon but I hope also terrorism is not going to advance and that the future will be predictable so if something is predictable my arrival here is predictable too.